Hello and welcome to Mile One Center in St. John's, Newfoundland. And this weekend, it's going to be happening right here on the ice sheet behind me. You see, they're kind of going through some of the final preparations. There were a bunch of people out there a little while ago. You'll have to trust me. They've been testing out their new video boards here and, and just getting ready for a big opening weekend of games here in St. John's. The Ice Caps, they were on the road for both of their games last weekend. So these are their uh, home games, their home debuts. Uh, they went one and one last weekend. They lost at Springfield last Saturday, 4-2. to two. You may recall the Phantoms also lost at Springfield last weekend on Sunday, 4 to nothing, And then St. John's picked up their first victory of the season on the road the next day on Sunday. They won at the Connecticut Whale 3-2. to two. So Adirondack is 1-1. One one. Of course, they won their season opener against the Portland Pirates 6-3. to three. Braden Shen had a couple of goals and Sean Couturier also scored. Uh, so the Phantoms are 1-1. One one. St. John's is 1-1. One one. This early juncture of the season. They sell out every game here at Mile 1 Center. The place holds 6,700 fans and of course for their opening weekend They'll, they'll be even more packed, more jammed, tickets in even greater demand, not just because it's the opening weekend, but also because it's the Philadelphia Flyers who are coming to town, the baby Flyers in the form of the Adirondack Phantoms, a lot of hype and a lot of talk about a couple of the stars sent down from Philadelphia, Braden Shen and Sean Couturier. And both of those guys have actually been here before, believe it or not. They did not play any games here, but they were with the Team Canada Under-18 National Squad who held their training camp here in the month of August a couple years ago. Shen was 18, Couturier was 17, so those guys were here for about a month and they know their way around the city a little bit more. The rest of the team, they're having a great time. It's our only trip to Canada for the season, and of course we have a lot of Canadians on our team, and they're really, I think, enjoying the, the Canadian culture and the, and the feel of kind of a small town. I mean, it's not really that small of a town. The population of St. John's is about 200,000, but you get your taste of Canada here uh, during this weekend, and the weather just couldn't be better. Sunshine and 50s and for the temperatures every day. I mean, it is gorgeous, and normally they get a lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot of snow, the most in all of Canada actually. We came at the right time here in the middle towards the tail end of October for their season opening weekend. It's going to be great and we're looking forward to it and we hope you'll make your plans to join us. Now the broadcasts start earlier on the radio. 7.30 in St. John's is 6 o'clock in New York. It's not a one hour difference, it's actually a one and a half hour difference because the Newfoundland time zone, they add that extra half hour. So our pregame show, the Pepsi Countdown to Face Off on Q101.7, it's going to get the broadcast started at 5.30 each night. So much earlier for the broadcast than normal for our games this Friday and Saturday, the Adirondack Phantoms and the St. John's Ice Caps. Just a couple other quick thoughts. You know, we got here very early. We had time to kind of walk around the town. Our hotel is right next door to the arena and plus also next door to a bunch of restaurants and shops. And it's a great little area here. And so the players have been enjoying that. Uh, Thursday night going out uh, on a team dinner, kind of a team bonding at the Keg Steakhouse in town. The Keg is a very well-known steakhouse chain in Canada. I don't, I don't even know how many they have in the U.S., probably not many, but all of our guys know about the keg. So looking forward to that and then getting ready for hockey. This Friday and Saturday, Phantoms and the Ice Caps.